Okay, here's a picture of the worktop that I've got, and I've sorted all of the blocks. And it's taken me an extra 15 to 20 minutes to sort them out this way. What I've done is I've taken all of the blocks that are exactly the same and put them in exactly the same row. All of these, when I sort them, I put them the scraped side down, so it's kind of easy to spot the, the same logs and then they're all together in the same rows. And the reason I do that is so I can avoid obvious patterns uh, in the sides of the logs. So, let's say for the uh, one inch blocks right here, I'm gonna start with this one up here on the top, and I'm gonna grab from the one inch block pile and put it down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna go left to right. So as I'm drawing blocks, I'm gonna start from the bottom left, and I'm going to take this block and let's start at the top and work down. I'm going to take a one inch block and lay it here. And by the way, I'm turning it so the scraped side of the block is going to be down. So it glues to the row that's underneath of it. And then I'll grab the next block and put it down. And then I'll grow the, grab the next one in the row and put it down here. And the next one in the row and I'm going to put it down here. Now there is actually sort of a flat side to these blocks. So they will lay on their side uh, perfectly well. Now when I start grabbing from the next row, since this row is depleted, I'm going to start on the bottom left on the next row. But what I'm going to do is when I grab it and turn it, this row I'm going to flip around to the back side of the block. And I'll grab this one and I'm going to flip it around to the back side of the block. And I'm going to do that with all of the blocks until I complete this row. I flip it over and flip it to the back side. Now to finish off the one inch blocks, I've got four, so what I'm going to do is just grab and I'm going to put those uh, left to right uh, going around here and just sort of keep them the way I've got them in the stack here. Now I zoomed in a little here so I could kind of show you an example of the three inch blocks. On this particular one we've got one, two, three of these three inch blocks. And these three inch blocks are all the same. So that gives you a little bit more of a problem in trying to get rid of uh, multiple sides that are the same. So what I would suggest is for the first three inch block I'm going to just put it down here like this. For the second three inch block, you see those patterns are the same. I'm going to flip it around to the back side and put it up here. And then for the last three inch block, I'm going to use the same side that's down here. But in this particular case, I'm going to turn this block upside down. When you're assembling these together, you also want to fill in these holes, like for the uh, window and for the doorway. Now when you fill in the uh, doorway, I do not suggest that you actually place a door in there to hold the place of the door. The reason I say that is because the door is made smaller. This is not actually an inch. This is actually about a sixteenth or less wide so that after the model is completed, the door can go in and out quite easily. So don't use a door to block this. Instead, I would use a couple of one and a half inch blocks. And I'm going to kind of grab them from the back of the stack so I don't mess up my order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those like right about there so I can kind of hold the width of that doorway. And for the window here, I'm going to grab a couple of one inch blocks. And these I'm leaving scraped side actually touching the paper. And I'm just going to drop those right in there like that. And that's going to hold those straight. Now another thing that I want to mention is on these logs that form the side of the doorway, what you don't want is you don't want a scraped side to be showing. So in other words, if I stick this down, I want the scraped side of the block to actually be glued against the side wall there. So the scraped side, this is the smooth scraped side. I'm going to position it so that the scraped side is facing that way. On the next one that I use, the scraped side is going to be facing outward this way so that the interior frame of the door is going to be textured on all sides. Then what I've got is up above on it, I've got some of these quarter inch slivers, and the quarter inch sliver is the same way. Smooth scrape side is going against the side that way, and on this other side, the smooth scrape side is going against the side the other way, so the scrape side is facing that way on it. And then across the top of these, I've got two of these half logs. Now, as far as the half logs go, the scrape side is actually going to be facing down where you would see it, but nobody's going to see it because nobody's going to be looking up under the doorway. And the reason I'm kind of putting it this direction is because I think it fits better with the log shape right here.
So when I glue these together, what I'm going to do is glue everything together. And since this side kind of sticks out funny, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to glue the roof on yet. I'm going to leave that out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this main part together right here. Uh, I'm going to start with the bottom row. And I'm just going to put a, a little bit of glue on the end here. And then a little bit of glue on the end here. Now when I apply glue to the second row, uh, you may not have the bottom scraped perfectly flat. Uh, a lot of times that just doesn't happen. A lot of times this is usually more concave than anything. So my suggestion is when you glue these bottoms, put a bead of glue on the bottom. Uh, and once you get a bead of glue on the bottom of that, then uh, take your finger and spread it out so that it goes around to the very edges of the block. Kind of scrape your finger off across the edge of the block and meet, be sure that you have kind of a bead of glue around the outside edge of that block right there. Originally, it's like this on the plan. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees down so the scrape side is actually touching the surface of the table. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of put it along the side of this guide to keep it straight. And then I'm just going to just stack these up on top and then this up on top and go ahead and glue those straight up like I'm kind of stacking a wall. So if you take a look at the blocks that I have over here, these are actually the corner blocks. And when you lay them down, be sure that texture side is up. Be sure that scraped side is down against the table. The CV is the easiest one to recognize because the two legs of the uh, uh, corner are the same distance. So it looks kind of like a letter V if you're actually looking at that thing. Let's see if I can get it up a little closer to the camera. Yeah, you see how that kind of looks like the letter V? Uh, that's what the CV is. Now when we have a CL, that's when you're looking at it and it actually looks like the letter L. So when you're looking at that thing right there, uh, that actually uh, would look like the, uh, the letter L. Uh, because this little bottom leg is actually sticking out this way a little bit more than the side. The last one is the C backwards L. And if you take a look at that one, what that one looks like, it looks like a backwards L. So that's the way I kind of identified them. But to identify them correctly, you have to have them textured side up. If you have them scraped side, well, that's the wrong way. You're looking at it wrong. You gotta look it over this way and be sure it's right. Now, when you put these corners down on here, uh, looking at it, the parts that stick out, stick out towards you. So in other words, if I take this one that's a CV that's right here, and here's the CV corner. What you're going to do is you're going to place it down. Texture side is up, scraped side is down. And the two ends that stick out are going to stick out that way and stick out up. So in other words, when I place it down, it's going to be sticking out like that. Because obviously, if you tried to put it a different way, well, that doesn't work. You know, if you try to put it this way, well, that doesn't work either. There's really only one way for it to go. So that the two sides that are actually flat, the uh, bottom sides here that are actually flat, either go against the table or go against your project. So the one up here is a C backwards L. So I'm going to grab one of these C backwards L. And I'm going to put it up here like this. And I tried to make the guide so it, it kind of matches what the thing is going to do. So I need a CL. And I noticed that a CL goes here. And if you notice that it kind of matches on the guide. See how long that sticks out and how long my block sticks out? The next one is a C backwards L. So it's going to go like here. The next one is a CV. So it's one of the V's. And notice it really doesn't matter which pile I grab from because these only can go on one way. You can't flip them around for a different texture. So it really doesn't matter that I'm not grabbing from the bottom on this one. Uh, the last thing we need to put on the front of this, if you can see by the plan, is 
We need these quarter inch thick uh, slivers of log going across the top and we also need two shutters on the front side. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put those on there. As far as position goes, uh, this top one, uh, let's see, the top one here, you notice I've got moved down. And the reason I had kind of moved down a little bit is because it would be kind of hard to get it to go straight up at the top because it wants to lean. It doesn't really have any good place to go. And if you center it down there, it still looks like a log sticking straight out that somebody carved around that's kind of holding the peak of the roof up. These others I'm putting along the side, and I just kind of put a guess as to where those are going to go. Okay, the next thing I'm going to work on here is the porch. The main thing you need to know about the porch is that the logs are not on their side like you're building walls. You're actually building a floor here. So you want the flat set of side of the block to be, uh, to be on the top. So we need four of these 1.5 inch pieces. So, in other words, when you put these down, uh, be sure that the scraped side is actually touching the paper. So the scraped side of the block will actually be touching the paper. And you're going to have a round side butting against round side. And then this half log, this, once again the scraped side of the block is going down onto the surface of the paper and we're going to glue that together like that. I do want to mention that uh, you'll see that there's two spots here. These are the inch and a half blocks on edge or on end and I've got it so the flat side of the block is on the outside so the scraped side will be in uh, and it really the outside showing uh, really isn't gonna uh, matter too much so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put those up on end like that so they're standing up off the paper the back side here this is what's gonna go against the house Scraped side's going to be back there. Textured side's on that side. So be sure that you put them the right way so you're not looking at the textured side of the block. The last thing that we're going to glue in is we're going to use these uh, um, half inch blocks. We have three of them and I would say uh, you just put these half inch blocks down here, one here, and you're going to put one here. And uh, you notice that the flat side of these blocks are kind of on one side or the other, so it really doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see between the rails anyway. Then when you get done, you're going to cap it off with, these are the half log pieces, so we're going to have a half log piece here, we're going to have a half log piece here, and then we're going to have a half log piece right here. And when we get done, you want to be sure that everything kind of lines up flat because this back side is what's going to go against the house. This side over here is going to be the exposed side that you're going to look at. 